I'm here with Paula Nelson Hart from Purple Cow, and you have got encaustic for us. Oh my goodness, do I ever. This is probably my favorite new technique. Um, well, first we should explain what is encaustic. Sure. It is. Because it's all over this page. It is. It's all over that page. And it is beeswax that's mixed with Damar resin and some of it with pigment. And then using heat tools, you spread and add the wax to all kinds of projects, but great for mixed media layouts. So you're going to show us, there are actually four different ways that you are using the wax on this page, and you're going to show us those four techniques. Oh, I am. And we're going to start right away with one of the most fun. And I think that you need to play along with. So this is just an old piece of music. You're going to take the um, a craft iron with a nice okay. flat um, open tip. And the important thing to remember is that it... The flash point for wax is at 235 degrees. Okay. So we want to use it, make sure that our iron is not too hot. So grab, try using that okay. blue right there. Oh, I thought this was black. I know, it's dark, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just melt a little bit against and let it drip against the corner of the paper. Ooh. I know, already it's fun, huh? And then you're just going to start to spread just like you're spreading mortar. <sighs> That's so cool, it's like painting, but totally different at the same time. I, and it smells good because it's beeswax. It's it does. really fun. So, and of course, we're working on a glass mat, which is gonna be heat proof, and we're working with good vent ventilation. Absolutely, that's really important. And now, you might try adding another color. Maybe you wanna put some yellow down in one corner, and or... blue plus yellow is gonna equal green. So oh. will the colors mix like that? Will they mix like regular paints, or do I have to, will they keep separate, or what's the no, deal? No, they're, they're gonna mix beautifully. That's, it's one of my favorite qualities of, of working with encaustic, is how the colors will just blend. Ooh, and look at that green. Isn't that gorgeous? So then you can just buy like a couple basic colors and mix your own. Yeah, especially so if you neat. pick up like some white and some black so then mm -hmm. you can get tints and shades. Oh, it's, this is awesome. Isn't it fun? Okay, so once you've made your background paper and I know that right. you have some so examples. So you spread it around. Mm -hmm. Now here's one where I've, I've done some dark blue in the corner. Mm -hmm. I added a little bit of gold up here at the top and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull that gold down into the rest of the, the blue rest area. Of it just to kind of warm it all up. And, and So even after this is sort of done, you can still work oh. in it. The wax is always gonna keep melting. And that's one of the things I really, really like about it is I can go back in and, and play with it even mm -hmm. more. And, and, I, and I can really, see here really on the do. finished piece, which by the way, the instructions for putting this layout together will be on our website. I can see how you can have that gold flecked all the way through there. Uh, it just it just creates, like you said, a really ethereal look. Mm -hmm. So do you have to clean this off, by the way, in you any do. way. And it's really simple to do. We just take a paper towel, okay, and we're and it doesn't burn your hand. Uh, no, I've folded it a few times. Okay, it would if I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm laughing. That would but be just horrible. Like a hot pad, but it's it. Yeah, it's yes. So if you want to clean you yours much. off, and the next one we're going to show is with this lace one of the things that's really really fun is to add physical pieces to your work some yes. collage so now i'm just going to use the clear which mm -hmm. is medium okay and we're going to drip some on just like we did before okay. so you don't have to have colored wax you can use clear wax you can use clear mm -hmm. and it kind of changes the nature of this paper i put some on there already okay i can see it's all shiny it's shiny right there now I'm gonna lay the wax on top and I'm just gonna iron it on. And the wax oh, underneath. Oh, so the lace is just being trapped in the wax. Exactly, it's, it's just gonna become it. embedded in the wax and I can add more. And you could of course add colored if you want to. Oh, and it's so fun, it just adds, gives it some more texture and another another layer to kind of create But that's that actually look. not the only way that you can use wax as an adhesive, right? Right. Um, here is a really great example of taking a, a little note. Mm -hmm. I printed it on newsprint like this. Which I think is brilliant because it makes it look old and aged and newsprint is nice and thin. Then I just added a, a nice layer mm -hmm. of wax and I spread it out. Sometimes if I'm, if I'm in a real hurry, I'll spread it using heat gun. And that oh, just helps to great idea. move it around real quickly. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add a little more wax. Now I'm going to pick some flowers These here. are actual dried flowers or are they, they paper are, flowers? Nope, these are dried flowers that I 
pressed in a book. How well you go out into nature and bring some back with you. That's really cool. It is. It's fun. And then they will keep forever because mm -hmm. it's archival. It's all natural. I'm just going to drip some more wax on here and cover these up. So you're sealing them inside the wax. And I can see here on the finished page again how beautiful that looks. And look how the color in those in those flowers, you can still, it mean they maintain oh, their yeah. color. It really it's so dreamy and sort of lovely. And I think it really goes with the vintage photos that you're using here because you know it has again that soft look. But I, I want to talk about the final element here, which I, I blows my mind <laughs> that you can do this with wax, which is here. And I'm gonna give you this photo. Yeah. So with uh, using a tip that's like a pen stylus. So it so has, this is the same tool, but with a different tip attached. Right. And, and this one has a channel up the center, just mm -hmm. like a, a dip pen. I was going to say a fountain pen. Same yep. idea. And so I'm going to lay the pen on the side mm -hmm. of the wax like that. With the that. channel facing up. Uh -huh. That's really important, right? Well, I do it or that not. way so that I can see the Oh, <laughs> and I cheat. can see it actually filling. Isn't that's that cool? That's very cool. And then literally just like a pen, I'm going to start spreading my wax around. And so then you just refill it as often as necessary, but there's certainly no rules about it. No, and, and you really develop a feel for it. The more you do it, the better you get at it, and you can figure out how much color and the whole thing. And I can see here, of course, that you finished decorating it here so you can get quite intricate, in fact. And if we look back at the finished layout, I, all these different wax encaustic elements look so fantastic. And of course, don't forget, right? This is a wood little piece. You, you can, can work on, on wood, of you can work on uh, different, lots of different substrates. Thank you, Paul. I feel super inspired to think that I could do this at home without a lot of equipment. Oh, I'm excited to see what you'll do.